Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this particular tutorial, we are going to talk about cloud data flow. Cloud data flow is uh, one of the uh, highest demanding tool nowadays, which uh, lots of organization use uh, for, uh, you know, building the uh, data pipeline. So in this particular tutorial, let's try to understand what is cloud data flow and uh, some of the important details about uh, the data flow. So first of all, if I uh, just need to uh, tell that what what uh, exactly is cloud data flow. So basically, it's a data processing engine. Now, when we say a data processing engine, uh, in like and uh, I'm just talking about uh, the data processing engine within the uh, GCP TechSuite. There are lots of data processing engine, right? We we know uh, for a fact that. Uh, there is something called as uh, uh, BigQuery engine using which you can process the data. Obviously, you will have to uh, the destination system for this using this kind of a engine is BigQuery. But apart from that, if you are uh, thinking or if you have the requirement where you need to collect the data from various sources and the destination could also change like it's not necessary something that you need to uh, load the data into a big query or something very specific to gcp but it could be you know some heterogeneous uh, sources as well like let's say the data destination is your uh, hdfs file systems uh, any rdbms which is out of uh, the gcp take suit but the data processing engines like cloud data flow and there are some other examples of it is like uh, you have uh, uh, data proc and you know some of the other sort so the main usp of cloud data flow is its capability to process batch and streaming data as a unified programming model so basically apart from saying that cloud is a data processing engine one of the biggest advantage of uh, uh, you get when when you start using data flow is it's a unified programming model yeah. So what do you mean by unified programming model is mm, at a high level, uh, we, we have, uh, you know, uh, seen this uh, multiple times that there are two types of uh, data ingestion pipeline uh, that do exist at a high level that either you get the data in batches, like you get the data in files uh, with some certain frequency, we need to uh, get the files once in a month, uh, once in a day every hour that there is some sort of frequency associated with every batch data and there is one one more uh, uh, kind of a data which is your uh, streaming data or near real time data streaming data yeah. so when it comes to streaming data there is a continuous stream of data that you will have to uh, fetch or consume and you your consumer like your program who is going to consume that data and do the business logic processing will have to be always active in terms of as soon as a data comes onto that uh, streaming platform whichever you are using will have to consume that you are supposed to consume that because you wanted to do the near real-time data processing and this is where the uh, beauty of cloud data flow will uh, come into the picture that it is a unified programming model to process the batch and streaming data using the same jobs or same kind of a library that you can use right so irrespective of you as a uh, developer of cloud data flow you really don't have to think that whether i should process my jobs using uh, you know some kind of uh, whether your design of your pipeline or design of your job will never change based on the type of the data consumption you are doing let's say if you are doing a batch data pipeline then you probably don't have to even change your code a few few tweaks here and there is fine but you can use the similar kind of a pipeline design for even just uh, getting the data consuming the data from the streaming data sources as well yeah? that is the you know biggest usp that comes with uh, using cloud data flow now let's understand how cloud data flow uh, has these kinds of capabilities is because at the core of uh, apache cloud data flow the library that it uses is apache beam right and if you just understand how the beam word has uh, uh, been in existence 
that batch plus stream right so b from batch they have taken and the last three characters of uh, stream and it forms you the word as b right so basically the unified library again the same term the unified library to process the batch and streaming data is nothing but your uh, apache beam library and what google has done is they have developed some kind of wrappers around this apache beam because uh, for the actual data processing this is where uh, uh, you know the use of apache beam is uh, present that it uses the actual apache beam libraries uh, to process the data uh, for cloud data flow but what cloud data flow is doing is or what google is uh, doing is they have written lots of good wrappers around apache beam uh, like for example they do have some nice ui where you can submit your job they have given you lots of templates which are ready made uh, you know kind of a configurable template and based on your use case you can use those templates and create your pipeline create your data flow pipeline right then logs monitoring and operations around your logs then scheduling your jobs all these kinds of uh, operative features around apache beam is been uh, given uh, in the cloud data flow and that's why you know it's a separate tool for uh, building the data pipelines right but at the core of uh, cloud data flow apache beam is uh, you know kind of a library that is getting used and that's the reason understanding apache beam uh, to you know thoroughly understand how data flow works is is kind of a you know uh, i would say yeah mandatory thing that if you like as 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 good as you know uh, the apache beam library you will be able to write the effective uh, cloud data flow jobs okay now this is about the actual uh, usage of this uh, 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 apache beam library but what apart from that uh, cloud data flow gives you is you know it gives you a capability to execute your job on various execution engines or in in the uh, data flow world you call it as runner and there are three four types of runners uh, that are allowed or using which you can run your job for example let's say you have uh, you have wrote your pipeline and the similar set of code you can execute on various execution engines so first and foremost choice that always comes is direct runner then you have you know you can run your uh, data flow uh, jobs using the apache spark as execution environment then apache flink as also uh, the another execution environment and then you can even run it as a in-house data flow runner so using the data flow runner you can also use or you can also trigger uh, the apache uh, i mean sorry cloud data flow job so in total direct runner apache spark apache fling data flow runner these are kind of a four main uh, runners or execution engines uh, on which you can uh, run your data flow jobs but uh, most of the times uh, direct runner is something that that is useful for testing kind of thing you just wanted to do some kind of you know functional testing of your pipeline whether it is producing the right output and whether it is functionally working correct uh, but when it comes to scalability uh, you cannot really go with uh, direct runner because it has the scalability issues if you are talking about huge amount of data and whatnot then you will have to you know use something else than direct runner based on the kind of environment kind of infrastructure that uh, your organization is providing you right most of the times data flow runner is a natural choice uh, for you know uh, running your app uh, the cloud data flow jobs into the production environment and if you wanted to test those then you just have to switch your runner to direct runner so that it's kind of a you know small in memory uh, testing uh, you can do with you know very limited amount of memory and resources uh, allocated to your job but the core logic of your pipeline will still remains the uh, same just because you want to change the runner your logic will never change you just have to pass 
you know your parameter where you are passing which runner you want to use that will only change but your pipeline logic will still remains the same right so these are some of the very high level points about uh, the cloud data flow uh, and uh, a kind of an introduction about the cloud data flow and in the subsequent videos uh, we'll see the actual demo of uh, how to create the pipeline how to write the programs and how to run those using these types of uh, various runners direct runner and data flow runner okay so stay tuned for more videos and more tutorials on cloud data flow and uh, thank you for watching this uh, tutorial and i'll see you in the next one